time I installed my gaming monitor here. Finally picked out a screen that I like with my old retro consoles. That'll be good for the RV here. It's not too heavy. It's smaller than that big old boob tube. I'd like to mount it right here. So I'm going to make a bracket, a mounting plate. I'm gonna have a, a back plate here for on the monitor and then a base plate for, I'm uh, just gonna screw it to the top there. Got the holes marked out. See what we got floating around here. This stuff is pretty darn thick. Yeah, I think we'll just take it out of this piece here. We're gonna do about a 14 inch neck on that. Base amount, 100 millimeter spacing, and the base plate. Let's go 
find me some square tube. I'm gonna mount this up. Just square everything off. I'm not gonna worry about having it able to tilt or anything. I'm just gonna get it to where I know I like it. I'll weld it up rigid. Take a couple more measurements here. I want that monitor right pretty much flush with the face of this shelf thing. And, uh, yeah, I just need to measure out where I'm going to put that. There's going to be a two inch extension off the post so I can get cords in. Well, there's only the HDMI that would be blocked by that pole, but, uh, just in case I ever want to use it in the future, I'm going to put a two inch spacer in between the post and the, um, vase mount. And I'll figure out how far back I can mount that. Do something like that. Those are all cinched down. Oh my lord. That is one. That's the most solid monitor I've ever touched. Nice. I like it. Good height, too. I already checked. There we got the PC so I can run the OBS and record the gaming. 
swing them back for when I'm editing videos. Plenty of room. That worked out great. I like it. Okay, we got the Elgato hooked back up. Audio left and right, video, splitters. Ready to make a gaming video.